All right, guys, new project today here on the Triumph 1700 Skiff. I'm going to be swapping out this Optima Blue Top battery, Group 27. It was born in July 2018. Uh, haven't had any issues with this battery, but it is four years old. Don't want to have any issues when I'm on the water, of course. So I'm going to be planning ahead and, and swapping that out with a, another battery. This thing weighs. So I'm going to go with a lighter battery jumping over to the Dakota lithium uh, 12 volt 60 amp hour deep cycle battery thousand cold crank starting battery uh, and uh, super light this battery here can charge off the motor um, it does come with a charger though in the in the kit uh, see what else comes in the kit it has the the lugs and some dielectric grease and I paid six hundred and forty dollars for that and I ordered it July 5th, 2022, and it's July 29th, 2022, so it took a couple weeks to get here. So if you're gonna order one, make sure you order ahead of time. Don't expect to get it next day. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna make the swap, and um, it shouldn't have any issues. It should be an easy one-for-one -one swap. It's gonna be a lot smaller than smaller footprint than the current battery, so we'll have to put some padding in there to keep things from moving around, but that shouldn't be an issue. Um, so. Let's get that swapped out and I'll give it a test and we'll see how it goes. Got this thing installed. Um, I ended up using the regular regular lugs for this, the standard style. And I had to add an extra washer, a little um, a split washer there on both lugs uh, because the, the bolts are a little too deep and um, the washers that come with it aren't uh, thick enough. So uh, it, would, it was bottoming out. So I ended up adding an extra washer so that the, the um, cables wouldn't move back and forth and the connectors were, wouldn't be loose. So they're nice and firm on there now. Um, and again, I added an extra split washer to uh, both of those sides, so it's working great. Also transfer the date from the bottom of the battery up to the top of the battery there. I uh, wrote that in with a Sharpie and I added some foam to the sides uh, to keep that thing from moving right to left. And uh, of course, front to back, it's, it's fine. There's no, there's hardly any movement there. Um, and this is a, this is a standard Atwood battery box. So I'm getting ready to uh, turn on the water and uh, give this thing a test to crank the motor. All right, we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot. Crank her up. Crank the motor just fine. Everything's running. Running great. One last test I wanted to do, because uh, I'm sure that folks are gonna ask, you know, what voltage is required to charge these. So it's 14 and at 14.4 volts is what the charger does that came with this battery. Um, and the resting voltage when it's off the charger is 13.8. So you wanna make sure your rectifier on your motor is pushing out uh, about 14 and 14.4 volts. Mine is, uh, so it's perfect. So 14.4 at idle, and it'll go up a little bit also uh, at higher RPMs, so, but, but bottom line is you want enough uh, voltage around a little over 14 volts to charge your lithium battery. All right, while we're doing this battery thing, we wanted to do an extra little test on this little NOCO Boost Plus little battery jumper kit that I have, um, and uh, wanted to see how it, how it does. I've, I've completely disconnected the battery and only connected the, the leads uh, to the motor, so Let's see how, let's see if this thing works. All right, so this little jumper starter uh, works. I tested it, but I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Um, but for it, to, for it to work when it's not connected to the terminals, because it does sense that it's not connected to the battery, um, you actually have to put in a manual override. So again, these are, these are directly connected to the terminals. They're not connected to the battery. I'm trying to simulate a completely dead battery. So to make this work, you gotta put it in manual override and you gotta push that button for three seconds and then all these lights will start flashing. All right, so it's already already cranked it twice. Let's see if we can get it to crank a third time. Oh, it's looking like it's doing something. Yep, it works. It's a handy little kit to have with you uh, in your toolkit when you're out on the water just in case you get have a dead battery. So I'm gonna carry that with me. All right guys, a lot of success today. We were able to get our lithium battery installed. 
retiring our old blue top and we also tested our little noco booster out there let me go ahead and uh, button this thing up and call it a day